So in this video, I'd like to talk about courses, timetables and communication at the University of Queensland and in the Faculty of Engineering, Architecture and IT. So how do you go about choosing your courses? Well, there is information uh, in the link in the description box below, but it very much depends on whether or not your program is entirely pre-specified, so full of compulsory courses. Some programs might have many specified or compulsory courses with some space for choice, and other programs might be predominantly elective choice. Most students will have received some or all information on this already, but you may still have questions. There will be specific orientation sessions available for each program, and please refer to the link in the description box below for details. There are different teaching modes at University of Queensland. In-person courses may incorporate some aspects of online delivery, so perhaps online lectures, um, perhaps some online assessment. But an in-person course does require students to engage in person, either in learning or assessment at the UQ campus or at some other specified location. External courses are delivered entirely online and students must participate online for all learning and assessment. So there's no attendance on campus. Students who are not able to come to campus can only enrol in external offerings. But it's very important to note that not all courses have external offerings. And in fact, many courses in this faculty do not have external offerings. If you're enrolling in an in-person course, you must be able to come to campus for the required learning and assessment activities. So, timetables and changing courses. First of all, there's a key web page, which is my.uq.edu.au. You're going to go to My Sign It and you're going to enrol in your chosen courses. After you've done that, you're going to go to My Timetable and you're going to use the Allocate Plus system to preference your classes. And you can see the window available to you in the coming semester for when this preferencing can take place. Once preferencing has closed, then step three happens. Classes are then allocated automatically and you will get a personal timetable that will be sent to you via email. We then move into step four, which is what we call the class adjustment phase. So if you didn't get the time you wanted, or you're now needing to change times or potentially change courses, then you go back to my timetable. You can swap to other classes if there are space. You can add your name to a wait list to swap to a preferred class. If you have unavoidable clashes, then you can contact the faculty timetable team at eait.mytimetable at uq.edu.au. If you need to add or change courses, you simply go back to step one and work your way through. Um, you can see the date on the screen there um, for the last date to add courses. Save these dates to your calendar because they're very important. If you need to drop a course, well, domestic students can drop a course without asking permission of the faculty. It's important to note that for a domestic student, six units or three courses is considered full-time enrolment. International students must discuss with faculty office before reducing your study load below eight units or typically four courses. It's a condition of your visa for international students that you are enrolled full time with eight units of study and you are required to complete your studies in the minimum possible time. Only the Associate Dean Academic can give permission to under enroll and this must be done prior to reducing your study load. Failure to receive prior permission to under enrollment may lead to a situation where a future request to extend your visa cannot be supported by the faculty and you will be unable to complete your studies. Please take note of two very important dates, 
the census date, which is the last date to drop a course without financial liability, and the last day to withdraw from a course without academic penalty. Keep these dates saved in your calendar. They're an important reflection point with your studies and your progress. All courses will have a course profile and Blackboard site. A course profile will give you lots of information about what you're going to do in a course, how you're going to be assessed, uh, do you need a calculator, do you need textbooks, contact information for course stuff. Um, you can access your course profile uh, either via MyUQ, via Blackboard or via Courses and Programs. Each course will have a Blackboard site that will be available from uh, www.learn.uq.edu.au. These course profiles will become available about a week before the first class. Communication is really important and when you start at UQ you are given a student email address and your official student email address ends with at student.uq.edu.au. All official communication is sent to your student email account and it is assumed that you uh, read emails. If you are emailing us, including your lecturers, always include your full name, your eight-digit student number, the program you're in, the plan, if applicable, and a contact telephone number. This helps us respond to your query accurately and quickly. Now you can forward your student email to a different address. And you can see on the screen here some really simple instructions for how to do that. Or you can scan the QR code that you can see and get these instructions there. If you want to forward your emails to a different email address, that's fabulous. If that helps you make sure that you read your emails regularly, even better. So in the next video, we'll talk about what it means to be a student in the Faculty of Engineering, Architecture and IT.